Hi everyone, this is it. We're continuing the Sermon on the Mount and today we're going to start with Matthew chapter 5, Blessed to the Poor in Spirit. This is so important for us because this is a time that Jesus set himself. He sat down as a teacher to explain what this is, what, what this is all about. So Maurice is going to take us on a journey to explain to us God's perspective, God's view on what it means to be blessed. So hi, Maurice. Hi, Joseph. Yes. Good to be here again. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I should give a definition of humility. Yes. Because poverty of spirit, mm -hmm. humility, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. I Years ago, I, I was reading John Wesley's sermons, his 40 sermons, mm -hmm. and he said a strange thing. He said, humility is knowing yourself, mm -hmm. a true assessment, assessment of yourself. And I thought, you know, it, yeah. it, I just couldn't get my head around that. Mm -hmm. But but it's true. It, it's a wonderful description. Let me read Romans chapter 3. Mm -hmm. I think viewers will understand when yeah. we get into it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll read from verse 1. Please, yeah. We've looked at this. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Yeah, Romans 3 or Romans 12? Romans 12. Romans 12, yes. Sorry, I said... Yeah. It was verse 3, but I'll read yes, yes, that's fine, one. that's fine. So mm -hmm. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mm -hmm. mercies of God, you present your bodies a living sacrifice unto God, mm -hmm. wholly acceptable, your reasonable service. Mm -hmm. And we looked at this verse, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of the mind. Yes. So we, we, we realise that holiness starts with renewing of your mind. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And so these Beatitudes are to renew our mind, to yeah. think of them. In Ways of thinking. Yeah. Absolutely. Not attributes that mm -hmm. we somehow yeah. control. Mm -hmm. That you may prove what's the acceptable and perfect will of God. So he's telling us to renew our mind. Mm -hmm. And the rest of chapter 12, mm -hmm. I, I, in my last Bible, I had 30 little numbers. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Ways to renew our mind in the same chapter. Yeah, from verse 9. But Well, mm -hmm. the very first verse after yes, verse actually. 3 yeah, yeah. says... For I say through the grace given unto me, mm -hmm. to everyone that's among you, not to think of himself. Yeah, that's so it. Tell us that's really number one. <laughs> yes. Not to think of himself yeah. more highly yes. than he ought, yes. but to think soberly as God has mm -hmm. dealt to every man the measure of faith. Mm -hmm. So humility is not to think of yourself more highly than you ought yes. or lower than you ought. Mm -hmm. It's a true assessment of yourself. So when you know yourself, you're mm -hmm. a humble person. Yes. Because I'm going to show a proud person doesn't know himself. Mm -hmm. He believes he's somebody that he isn't. Yes. So he doesn't know himself. Humility yeah. is a true assessment of yourself. It, it's, this is good, Maurice, because people, most of us, we go by the normal intelligent definitions of, you know, you, you check the dictionary and yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. put them together. But there has to be, I believe, this is so beautiful, there has to be a divine revelation on even understanding the Word of God like this. Yeah. yeah. A true assessment of yourself. Yeah. Because people don't really, it's always external. Yeah. But this one is you look inward and you realize you are poor in spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, most Christians want to know God. Oh, I want his presence. I want yeah. to know his power. Yeah. And I want to know his love. They don't want to know themselves. They never even think about it. True. But but we've yeah. looked at Peter. We've gone mm -hmm. through his life. Yeah. You know, and, and he was following Jesus, the miracles, the power. Mm -hmm. And then God showed him himself. And he said, I'm a sinner. I can't follow you. Yeah. So unless mm -hmm. you see yourself, mm -hmm. and he was on the floor, mm -hmm. he humbled himself and he fell on his feet, his mm -hmm. knees, and said, depart from me. He had a true assessment of himself. Yes. That's humility. Yes. When you're exposed. And it's funny, that's the entrance of the kingdom. That's, well, that's my, yes. I've got six points. Absolutely. So let's go through. Number one, mm -hmm. it's the first beatitude. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's the entrance. Mm -hmm. It says, blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say they have eternal life. Mm -hmm. They're all, It's talking to people who are saved. Mm -hmm. So they already yeah. have eternal life. But now if you want to get in the kingdom, mm -hmm. it's through humility. I Proud got, people will not inherit the kingdom. I've got so many people who don't know the difference between eternal life and the kingdom. It's, it's so confusing to, and we need to, to many Christians. to mention every study. Every, yes, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. Eternal life yeah. is by faith. By faith in it's Christ alone. It's yeah. free. Yes. 
the kingdom is a thousand year reign of Jesus. Yes. And all the parables are about the kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is like the yes. talent, stewardship, yes. because those who are faithful will reign with Christ. Thank you for that. Everyone yeah. has eternal life who yeah. accepts Jesus mm -hmm. by faith, but not everyone will reign with Christ. Yeah. Those that suffer will also reign. reign. And he says he can thrive to enter the kingdom. And he says it consistently, but we, most people just, we get confused. But I'm saved. I'm going to be with Jesus. I'm going to be in paradise. Yeah, but we have to read it. We enter the kingdom through much tribulation. Yes. If you're not willing to suffer with Christ, how will you reign with him? Yes. Uh, if you're not willing to have the character of Christ, mm -hmm. I mean, why would Christ reign with proud Christians? I wouldn't want to mix with proud Christians. They're obnoxious. They don't know they're proud, Maurice. I know. <laughs> that, that's what, what I hate about them because yeah. they, they think they're humble and yet they're proud, they're yes. arrogant, they're self-sufficient. Yeah. They're not a broken person. Yes. A humble person is a broken person. And that's why we're going to see And a this, broken, yeah. a contrite spirit Preach. is what God's looking for. Absolutely. So yeah. it's the entrance. Mm -hmm. And if you don't humble yourself, you'll never understand the character of God. You'll yes. never be meek. You'll mm -hmm. never be teachable. Mm -hmm. You'll never hunger and thirst after righteousness. You'll never be a peacemaker. You'll never be merciful while you're proud. Well, why should I forgive him? Yes. A proud person yes. c can't have mercy. He shouldn't have done it and he's got it wrong and he deserves punishment. Wow. It's the entrance to all the character of God. It's the entrance to the kingdom. So, Maurice, should we say, this just really came to me, as so the, it's like the, the law, the Ten Commandments, people took it as he dealt with the outward actions. Yeah. But the Sermon on the Mount deal with the inner person, the yeah. real person. In other words, it's describing what the Ten Commandments really meant. The Ten Commandments Alleluia. were to mention the Beatitudes, but yes. they just got the outward. This is it. This Love is your it. neighbor as yourself is in the law, Leviticus 19. Exactly. So, so yes. that we missed it. We thought, you know, that shall not kill. You can leave them, stab them, but, you know, you didn't kill. But now Jesus is dealing with the inner. What it really meant. Yes. And, and we're coming to it in the sermon on the Mount where Jesus said, I haven't come to destroy the law. I've yes. come to fulfill it, show you what it really meant. Amen. The Beatitudes were always in the Old Testament in the law, but Amen. they missed it. They just got the outward. Yeah. And the church do the same. Don't steal, exactly. don't kill, mm -hmm. pay your tithes. It's all the outward. Yes. They never address the secret yeah. life. The pastor doesn't want to be exposed, mm -hmm. so he won't expose his congregation yeah. because he doesn't want to be. He's a nice pastor. He's mm -hmm. good. He's mm -hmm. moral. Mm -hmm. He's been to Bible college. So it, it's so <laughs> difficult to be yeah. humble. Yes. yes. Which means to be exposed. Yeah. Peter was exposed. Lord, I'm a sinful man. He even yeah. confessed he was a sinner. As a Christian yeah. following his master, he said, I'm not worthy to follow you. Honestly. And Jesus said, now you're qualified. You've seen yourself. This now you're it. humble. That's the entrance, Peter. Now you can fish for men. I could use a yes. person who's yes. seen themselves. Amen, yes. So the first point, it's the first beatitude, it's mm -hmm. the entrance. Second point, poverty of spirit isn't pleasant. Mm -mm. We think, well, these are nice qualities. Oh, it's nice to be humble. No, it's not. <laughs> yes. It's not nice to be humble. Uh -huh. It's nice to be proud. We love to be proud. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's almost natural to us. It's so it's natural to Adam pride. Mm -hmm. yes. People love to be proud. I'm proud of my children. Look what they've done. I've got a gold medal. I'm proud of it. I'm mm -hmm. proud of my achievement. I'm proud of my education. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so natural. And the whole system sets us up to do that, to be like to that. Be proud. It's all about achieving something. And pride is all about me. Yes. It's my life and you're, this is what I've done. You And don't it. tell me what to do because it's my life. Yes. That's pride. Mm. Whereas humility said, I've given my life away. It's Christ. My life is hid with Christ in God. So yes. you don't run your own life. Mm -hmm. And that's not nice. Yeah. Humility is not nice. That's it. Because... The, the Bible's wonderful. Instead of using humility, mm -hmm. it tells us what it really is. Poverty mm -hmm. of your spirit. Yes, so yes, poverty is yes. not nice, Joseph. No, Pover it doesn't financial feel right. Poverty, it doesn't feel nice. Doesn't. Well, financial poverty is not nice. No. Mental poverty, no. if you've got no acumen, you know, that's mm -hmm. not nice. Spiritual You're poverty, inferior. it's not nice. Yes, that's true. So all these beatitudes, I'm going to show as we go through, they're all painful experiences, mm -hmm. but necessary. Because God is a God who has pain. God grieves. Yeah. God 
humbled himself and sacrificed his own son to, to redeem us. So God is a God who understands and we'll never understand God unless we won't suffer the pain of humility, the pain of being teachable when we know best, the pain of being merciful when they don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got to understand God and God's not a happy, clappy God. He's not sat in heaven playing chess with the angels and watching rugby. You know, mm -hmm. God suffers. He's that's, a suffering God. That's a side of God that we almost don't want to see. We want a God who's, I change not, I change not. That's a statement that we want to hear from God. Yeah. That he's like a statue, has no emotions, no feeling. Because yeah. that kind of God, that's what most Christians, we think we have. But now this one here, it's exposing. We we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't. No. Yeah, that creates for it's, me. It's a different God than yeah. we've been told. We mm -hmm. want the doctrine about God's Trinity, yes. God's yes. omniscient, mm -hmm. omnipresent. We're fixing. Mm -hmm. But God said, I am that I am. I'll be what I want to be. Mm -hmm. And if I want to be something different tomorrow, I will be. Don't put me in a box. And that's risky. Doctrine's about God, put him in a box. He said, yes. don't restrict me. Mm -hmm. I, I am what I am. I, I just exist. Mm -hmm. Don't don't try and define me. Mm -hmm. Just get to know me. Relationship. And, and this is, yeah, and this is what it's about. Amen. Knowing yourself is to know God. To know Amen. God is to know yourself. Amen. To, to be proud is to not know God. Yes. So it's not pleasant. Mm -hmm. Number three, you can't enter the kingdom without it. We've looked at that. Uh, I've got a scripture in Matthew chapter 18. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And it's about the kingdom. What yeah. else? Mm -hmm. The is. disciples were always wanting the kingdom now. Yes. They thought Jesus would get rid of the Romans mm -hmm. and they would, you know, sit on the right hand or the left hand, Peter mm -hmm. and John. They, yes. they wanted to rule now, just like the church, they yes. want the kingdom now. So, chapter 18 of Matthew. At that time came the disciples to Jesus, saying, so these are disciples, not followers. Mm -hmm. The disciples came. Who's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? There was That's pride. Yes. Who's the greatest? Is it me? Is yes. it John? You know? Yeah. Whenever you say who's the greatest, it's always pride that's the motive. Absolutely. Even though it's, it looks like an innocent question. Yeah. But that's the upbringing. This is a system. It teaches us one has to be better than the other. Yeah. But Jesus is just going to blow greatest? their minds. Hallelujah. And Jesus called a little child up to him, set in the, in the midst and said, Verily I say to you, except you be converted, unless you change your yes. thinking, unless you renew your mind mm -hmm. and become as little children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. I know me. So this is the entrance again, not to eternal life, wow. entrance to the kingdom. Wow. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest mm -hmm. in the kingdom of heaven. So if you want to be the greatest, yes. you've got to know yourself. You've yeah. got to become the least. I like how he gives almost even up to verse 5. And whoever received one little child like this, in my name, receive me. So it's, I like how he explains it. He yeah. goes right to the motives. Yeah. Right behind the, 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 right. Uh, the question. Well, I learned something. I've been yes. preaching this for 30 oh, years. Goodness. But a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. I suddenly realized, mm -hmm. and I've changed my views, I'll explain it. Mm -hmm. I thought he meant, mm -hmm. you know, humble yourself and be like a little child because little children are humble. No, so no. become like a child. But... <laughs> I've looked at children and they're proud. Wow. They're proud. You know, as soon as you say to, to little Johnny, uh, sing a song, Johnny, for your grandma, the chest goes out yes. and they sing the song and everyone claps them and they have a smile and aren't yeah. I good. So children are not humble. They can be very proud. So mm. I thought, oh, it didn't say children are humble. Mm. It said humble yourself as a child. Mm -hmm. So I thought, What's a child like mm -hmm. if they're not humble? And I got it. They're vulnerable. Mm -hmm. A little child is vulnerable. Mm -hmm. He may be proud, but I can give a sweet to a three-year-old boy mm -hmm. and say, oh, come on, here's a sweet, come with me. Mm -hmm. I might be a paedophile. Mm -hmm. I, I can... I can yeah, you can I, entice them easily. Yeah, can, they're, yeah. They're, they're vulnerable. Yeah. You know, 
I can smack a child. They can't say, you can't smack me mm-hmm. when he's three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, an 18-year-old man, he mm-hmm. could smack me. But a three-year-old child is vulnerable. He can't resist me. I could kill him with my bare hands. Yes. You can do whatever you want to do with them. I could rip his arms them. out and destroy him. You can do whatever you want to do with them. He's vulnerable. Yes. So when he says, humble yourself, I become vulnerable like a little child. That's humility when I become vulnerable. Well, that's the last thing a Christian wants. I'm a Christian, wow. but I'm not a doormat. Yes, yes, you know, yes. I'm a Christian, but I'm not stupid. God's given me a brain. Mm. Nobody's going to take advantage of me. God give me common sense. But a little child... Yeah. You can take advantage of them. Everyone mm. can take advantage of a child. Mm. You can tell him, Father Christmas is real. They believe you. Yes. They're vulnerable to, to lies. You can tell a child a lie or believe a lie. Mm. They're vulnerable. So, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. So, so when he says, unless you humble yourself to become vulnerable like a child. You can't even enter the kingdom of heaven. He's not talking about children at all. In this passage... Mm-hmm. It says if, if you offend one of these little ones, yes. it's meaning a Christian who's become vulnerable. It's mm-hmm. not about children. It's about becoming vulnerable like a child. Yes, yes. Yeah, you know, We use this at christenings, but he's not talking about children. I he's know. talking about disciples who humble themselves and become vulnerable. So there's another word that yeah. fits in with humility. You become vulnerable. When yeah. Peter was on the floor and he said, I'm a sinner. He yes. became vulnerable. He's kneeling at Jesus' feet. Yes. He's vulnerable. I'm a sinner. I can't follow you. I'm not. I'm not fit. I'm not with it. I, I'm, I've been exposed. I'm vulnerable. So this who wants it. to be vulnerable, Joseph? No, everybody just protect themselves. You will defend yourself. You even get offended all the time. People don't know, but we've been just talking about marriage, and we've been personal about our wives and and. <laughs> It's not easy to be vulnerable and confess your faults. We've been saying, oh, you know, I get it wrong and my wife says this. And, yes. And it's not nice to be vulnerable, is it? Yes. You know, I, I want to think people to think I've got a perfect marriage. I, I've got a wonderful ministry. I've, we don't like to think we're vulnerable and no. we're weak sometimes and we get it wrong sometimes. It, and this is it. And the funny thing is, Maurice, I can see Jesus was almost, because this is how he was going to be himself as well. I lay down my life. You know, I give. It's, it's those attributes. This It really means that he wants you to be like him because he was going to become like that so that he can take the whole... No, yeah. I, when I look at it, it really, really helps me to understand. This is not about having a Google definition of pouring spirit. This yeah. is about understanding things, God's perspective. Yeah, from, from the Bible. From look the Bible. The scriptures, they give you the definitions. Yes, uh, yes. You said something before we started about Jesus being vulnerable, the vulnerability. Yes. In the garden, he said... You know, could you not pray with me one hour? He's almost yes. pleading with him. Yes. You know, I, I'm going to the cross. Do you not realise I've got yes. to take the sin of the world? And, and could you not? Yes. You know, I, my flesh is weak. My spirit's willing. I think Jesus was talking about him when he said that the, the spirit's willing, but the flesh is weak. Mm-hmm. He didn't talk about them. No. He was talking about, I'm willing to go to the cross, but I'm in flesh and blood. I've asked my father to take it away. Yes, yes. And, and it shows that he was vulnerable there. That's... Absolutely, and he didn't have a problem exposing it. No, no. So we shouldn't and have it's a problem. recorded. Exactly. For, for us to let us know that Jesus exactly. was in flesh and blood, and flesh and blood should always be vulnerable. If you know this, when Maurice. you get the spiritual body, you won't be vulnerable. Yes. But while we've, we've got flesh yeah. and blood, we need to understand we will always be and always need to be vulnerable. This so is free. This is the entrance. Absolutely. This if we can't free. be vulnerable, how can I be merciful? How can I be a peacemaker? How can I sympathise or have compassion? How... You, you can't. Because compassion is entering into the feelings of another. Mm-hmm. Well, if you've never had the feelings, if you've never been vulnerable, how can I help vulnerable people? Yeah. So it's So that's number three. You can't enter the kingdom mm-hmm. without it. It's a prerequisite for salvation, you humble yourself. That's true. And it's a prerequisite for the kingdom. Number four, mm. humble acts don't make you humble. No. People think, well, I need to humble myself. So, mm-hmm. you know, they're in the queue mm-hmm. and there's, they're at the front of the queue and there's three old ladies behind them. And they say, oh, I'll humble myself. You know, they, they have a right to be first because yes. they've been in the queue. They say to the you go first. Mm-hmm. So that's a humble act, no mm-hmm. doubt. Go to the back of the queue. 
But the problem is, I can be proud of it. Mm -hmm. I can feel good and proud. I've humbled myself. Yeah. So a humble act can actually make you proud. Mm -hmm. You tell five people about it. Yeah, <laughs> tell people about it and tell yourself about it. Aren't I good? I humbled myself. Yeah. I, I'm really getting, I'm really practicing yeah. the Sermon on the Mount. Yeah. You are not practicing it. You've done a humble act that made you proud. Humility is how you think, yeah. not what you do. Jesus yeah. was always 100% merciful, yeah. peacemaker, humble. Mm -hmm. So when he whipped them out of the temple, he was still humble. He was still humble. Yeah. See, it's not the act, it's the attitude. It's a way of thinking, read you in your mind. It's how you think. Of course, if you think right, then you'll do humble acts. Mm -hmm. But hum humble acts don't make you humble. Yeah. So it, it's it's so important that, it is. that, that we think, well, I, I, I need to act humble. It is. I'm, I'm almost having a vision. It's like Jesus was speaking really about himself. It's like, because he's the king in this kingdom. And he's... He's taking these 12 on a training to expose himself to them so they can follow in his steps. Yeah. And he's saying, this is how he's going to be like. Yeah. It's not even the beating to the body or anything. It's this kind of attitude of thinking, esteeming others, sympathizing, having compassion. This is the entrance. Honestly, Maury, it's just opening my mind to... And it's showing us what God's like, because if you've seen me... You've seen him. You've not seen me, you've seen him. So that he's showing us God. Yeah. God is a humble God. God Amen. is a merciful God. God hungers and thirsts to do what is right. This yeah. is the attributes of, of our God. Yes, amen to that. Amen. So let's go through it. First mm -hmm. beatitude, it's mm -hmm. the entrance. Mm -hmm. Poverty of spirit's not yeah. pleasant. Mm -hmm. Number three, you can't enter the kingdom without it. Mm -hmm. Number four, humble acts don't make you humble. Definitely it's not. how you think. Mm -hmm. And number five, humility is an attitude, not an action. Mm -hmm. So it's repeating what I said before, yes. but I've got a scripture and an illustration. Yeah. Colossians chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Put on therefore mm -hmm. as the elect of God, the chosen mm -hmm. of God, predestined, yeah. holy blood, bowels of mercies. Mm -hmm. These are all characteristics, yes. bowels of mercies. Kindness, mm -hmm. humbleness of mind. There's the mind. I know. Humbleness of attitude. So it's not saying do humble acts. These are all ways of thinking. They are Meekness, the, yeah. long suffering. All the beatitudes. It's the fruit of the spirit, the <laughs> yes. beatitudes. Yeah. It says put them on. Put them on. Th this attitude, humbleness of mind, not humbleness of action, yes. humbleness of thinking. Um, How subtle is that, Maurice? It's very subtle. so subtle. Because we think if we do the right thing, we're okay. But yeah. God says, no, you did the right thing. But the wrong attitude disqualifies it. It's not acceptable. That, that subtle is that. God would rather me do the wrong thing Publicly. with the right attitude. Yes. And it's acceptable because it looks yes. at the heart. Because yes. the attitude's in the heart, not First the action. Samuel's, yes, that's it. So God doesn't look at the action, yes. he looks at the heart. And if the heart is right, if I'm humble, even if I get it wrong, God says, well done. Yeah. Well and done. people mock you that you got it wrong. People but mock you. Uh -huh. But then you say... That humbles you more. <laughs> so wow. you can't lose if you have the right attitude. Yes, definitely. So oh my goodness. The, the problem is because we are proud by nature, mm -hmm. we have to be exposed. This is the painful part. Yeah. We know the facts, mm -hmm. but I need to be exposed because, you know, if I'm a proud preacher mm -hmm. and I think I'm humble, mm -hmm. how can God deal with me? He can't speak to me because whatever he says, mm -hmm. I'm a humble preacher because I have the right actions. When people say that was a fantastic sermon, Pastor, I say, all oh, glory to God. I'm humble. <laughs> when they say you've got a big church, say, oh, it was all God. God help me. <laughs> so so I, I know how to, I've learned how to act humble. I never yes. take the credit for myself. Yes. I always give it to God. Mm -hmm. Until you move a few chairs. And you don't, uh, until you don't know, until God exposes you. Yes. And then you think, wow, mm -hmm. I'm such a proud person. Mm. So without exposure, we cannot renew our mind. Yes. So we're going to see that the Sermon on the Mount, the first chapter, is about exposing us. Yes. We're just learning what the character is. And then yes. God will expose us because we don't know what we're like because we want to be humble. Mm. So we do humble acts. Yes. Uh, uh, but that doesn't make us humble. So the, yeah. the only thing that would change is to be exposed. 
So I have an illustration. It's a vision mm -hmm. that my wife had yeah. many years ago. She, she, in the vision, she saw a worm, a garden worm, a wriggly mm -hmm. worm, mm -hmm. and the worm was like stood up mm -hmm. on its tail, mm -hmm. and it had a top hat on and a coat buttoned up. Mm -hmm. So the worm, she could see the the worm thought it was a man. It was stood up, and it. it of course, worms don't have mirrors, so it, mm -hmm. it didn't know what it looked like. It it, it looked up to the worms and thought, oh, fancy a worm, mm -hmm. you know, an ugly worm. It didn't know he was one, so it was like this. And he'd mix with the Christians and he'd go to one group of people. They were talking about Moses, the meekest man on earth. Mm -hmm. And the worm thought, yeah, I'm a bit meek, I'm like Moses. I've got a bit of that in me. And then he'd go to another group, Christians talking. Abram, the friend of God, yes. thought, yeah, I'm a friend of God. And he was identified with all these yeah, great men of God, Daniel and that. Mm -hmm. and, and God was looking down mm -hmm. and seeing this worm. And uh, it was laughable, really. But God got a mirror mm -hmm. and he put it down from heaven and it went in front of the worm. And so the worm had never seen a worm. It looked in the mirror and he saw this worm with a a hat on and a coat, and I thought, how stupid. Mm -hmm. Fancy a worm thinking as, as, as a man, mm -hmm. you know, how ridiculous. And, and he, he scratched his head to, and the, the worm scratched his head, and slowly it dawned upon him. I'm a worm. It's me. I'm a worm, I'm not a man. I'm a worm. And he just, he was so exposed, so humiliated. Yeah. That he fell himself on the ground and his hat went flying, his button burst open and the coat went off and he was laid on the ground, just a naked worm wriggling in the earth. Just absolutely devastated me because all his life he, he thought, thought he was something he wasn't and now he found out I'm a worm. And God was looking and God had compassion. God had compassion on him and, and God picked him up. Mm -hmm and wrapped him round his finger. Mm -hmm. And God pointed and cast devils out and did signs and wonders. And a voice from heaven came and said, I could use worms. So we thought of the scripture when Jonah had the vision, mm -hmm. Jacob, thou worm, worm. Yeah. I'll make you a mighty threshing yes. instrument. So we realise yeah. it was scriptural. But until we're exposed, God can't use us. We could use God. Yeah. Many Christians use God, they yeah. use his power, yeah. they use they build a church, mm -hmm. they use God. Jesus is a footnote. But for God to use yeah. us, we have to be broken. He it's, won't pick us up yeah. until we're on the floor. Major difference. Well, we're up here, he won't pick us up. Yeah. He'll have to pull us down. Yeah. So he has to pull us down to pick us up. Yes. So God always picks people up. Yeah. So if you're up, yeah. how can he pick you up? James, if you humble yourself, he will lift you. In due time. In due time, yes. When in you've due renewed time. your mind. Yes. So, so for me, I've never yeah. forgot that illustration. It's wonderful because we're only worms. Yes. It, it's okay. God can use worms. Maurice, we've been trained. We came from the dust. We came from know, the very dust. We forget. Worms. We forget. But we put clothes on yes. and forget we're worms. We came from the dust we and forget. we go back to dust. With The, the worms will eat us. The, the very worms that we despise, they will eat us when we're dead. <laughs> You know, how, how little are we? Yeah. Maurice, we forget ex this, the other system of the world that... Makes us great. Feel that we're great. And it's that feeling of superiority. And you don't even mind humbling yourself to give a pound to the poor. But as long as you're not like him, you know, it's, it's just the whole thing. And when you come back to God, everything is upside down. Uh, and until you get to the summer of the mind, I never, you could never even think about this. No, it won't renew your mind. Good no. sermons won't renew your mind. Wow. You're God's favourite. God loves you. Yes. And that God does love us, but he doesn't love how we are. He That's doesn't good. love That's good. He doesn't love your pride. He doesn't love your selfishness. That's good. He doesn't love your lust. He loves you, but he doesn't love the way you are. He wants you to humble yourself. Amen. So this is the first one. Amen. So number six. It's always good to look at the opposites. The opposite of humility mm -hmm. is pride, mm -hmm. worldly arrogance. And we all have it in measure mm -hmm. uh, because it's basic to the world. 1 John 2, 16. Love not the world, verse 15. Neither the things that are in the world. Mm -hmm. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, mm -hmm. this is the world system. Mm -hmm. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. 
So when we're proud, we're worldly. Yes. We're not holy because mm -hmm. holy means separated from the world. Mm -hmm. So a proud person can never be holy. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. a proud preacher can never be a holy preacher mm -hmm. because pride is to do with the world. You see, that's very subtle, Maurice, because we think I don't go to a club, I don't mix with worldly people. We think that's worldliness. But being proud as a Christian, even though you don't do the worldly things, being proud means you're worldly. It's proud <laughs> so I, as worldly as if you went to a club. Yeah, you're not I didn't the world. see. I didn't see it that way. And the world passes the way yes, of the lust thereof. But yeah. all that is in the world, yeah. so pride makes you worldly. Yes, yeah. even though you don't mix with the worldly people. You may do nothing. You may live in a cave and be a hermit. Oh my you're goodness. proud. Oh my goodness. I'm Honestly, I'm proud that I'm laid on a stone slab. Yeah. I've got you know, sacking for clothes. Yeah. There's no television, nothing. I, I've gone in a monastery. Wow, wow. I can be proud I've gone in a monastery. I'm following God. That's pride. You're as worldly as if you're going in the nightclub, sat Honestly, in a monastery. Honestly, I've never seen that. <laughs> oh, it, my it, goodness. It, but it exposes us. It does. It does. So I try to... I've learned that I must have the words in the Bible. Like, I never say... Uh, I, I know the difference between... Jealousy and envy. Mm -hmm. Jealousy is good, envy is bad. Mm -hmm. It's never a bad word in the Bible. God is jealous. Mm -hmm. I'm jealous of my wife. I love her. Jealousy is because of love. Mm -hmm. Envy is because of hate. So you need to separate. Mm -hmm. I never say I'm proud of my children. I never say I'm proud of the ministry. Mm -hmm. Because God didn't. Mm -hmm. What God said to his son, you are my son in and in him... I am well, well pleased. pleased. We say he's proud of he's proud of Jesus, but it's the wrong word. So we should word. say pleased. Pride is always the bad word. Yes, well yes. pleased is a good word. So I'm well pleased with you, son. I'm really pleased with you. You pass your exam. Not I'm proud. Yeah, I make myself worldly. That's good as well because words uh, are important. By your words, you'll be justified, and by your words, you'll be you'll be condemned. So how yeah. can a Christian say I'm proud of? I'm proud of all my congregation. I'm proud of my children. You're yeah. worldly. You, you know You're pleased with them. This is good, Maurice. This is just amazing. i tell you why. Because in whom I am well pleased, it presuppose he will do all my will. He's obedient. You see that? Yeah. Because now I'm pleased with him because I know he's going to obey everything. But it's different from being proud. Yeah. Because... Being pleased means now, now we know how people are disobedient yeah. all the time. So, and then you add the pride to it. It just makes, it messes it up. But when you know in whom I am well pleased, because he's obedient. So definitely. He learned obedience by the things he suffered. You see, this is all about becoming like Jesus. So he's well pleased when we're humble. Oh, it's not pleased when we're proud. It, it, it's, it fits perfectly, doesn't it? Absolutely. So, Mm. So a humble person mm -hmm. will not be offended if he's called proud. Yeah. You talk to a humble person, you say, oh, you're proud. Mm -hmm. And you, a humble person will say, yeah, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. You tell a proud person he's proud. Oh, no. I remember telling a, a man I worked for, I said, well, you are quite proud. He said, proud son, I'm not proud. I'm just full of character. <laughs> He thought, you know, because he was full of character. Yeah. And he, he did yeah. have a strong character, but he was so proud. He, but he couldn't even think no. that he was proud. Yeah. A, hum, a proud person gets offended. Mm -hmm. A humble Easily. person, they say, well, of course I'm proud, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's uh, number seven on the last yeah. point. Humility is a choice, not an acceptance. Mm -hmm. Okay. By that, it, it's not... Well, God wants me to be humble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, God, if you want to humble me, that that's great. I'll I'll accept that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's nah. a very arrogant state. Yes. I'll allow God to humble me. Yeah. Will I? Yeah. Jesus didn't, you know, let God humble him. Mm -hmm. The Romans didn't humble him. Mm -hmm. The Jews didn't humble him. It said Jesus humbled himself. So it's a choice to Absolutely. humble yourself, not an acceptance. Oh well. I, I'll accept it. Yes. You know, if God wants to humble me, I'll accept it. Uh, That's true. I've got two scriptures. James 4. James, I was going there. <laughs> I was going there. Yeah. From verse 8. James 4, verse 6. 
Yeah, absolutely. We resist crime. But he give us more grace. Mm -hmm. Grace is the the character of Christ. You wouldn't we even be saved. grace, more you, of Jesus. You wouldn't be proud if you you wouldn't even be receive the grace of God if you're proud anyway. No. And he give no, this is just good. Go he ahead. giveth more grace, mm -hmm. wherefore he said, God resisteth the proud, mm -hmm. but giveth grace to mm -hmm. the humble. Grace is the life of Christ. Yes. My grace is it's sufficient. sufficient. It, yeah. It's it's Christ in the circus. He gives you more grace. You mm -hmm. can go through more trials. But he gives us grace to the humble and he resists the proud. Mm -hmm. I heard a good illustration. You know, we think when he resists the proud is like pushing you away. Mm -hmm. But one man said this. Imagine you're walking to the edge of the cliff mm -hmm. and Jesus sees it. He knows... Pride cometh before a fall. Mm -hmm. So when you're proud, you're walking towards the edge of the cliff, you're going to fall. So God sees you mm -hmm. and he doesn't want you to fall. Mm -hmm. So he stands there mm -hmm. at the edge of the cliff and you run into Christ. Mm -hmm. But most Christians say, that's the devil. Mm -hmm. Because they're being resisted. Because proud people do what they want. Yeah, always. So God resisting you is a loving act. Mm -hmm. It's not a Stopping rebuke. You from, it's saying, I'm yeah. resisting you because you're going to fall. Mm -hmm. But we ignore, instead of thinking, thanks for resisting that. Like my plans, I'm going to do this, God. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the plans. And then I hit some obstacle. Mm -hmm. I should think, is God resisting me? But pride says, it's the devil stopping me. Yes. I, I'm gonna, and you pray I'm against fight and you... So you fight through and then you fall. Mm -hmm. But it was a loving that God resisted you. So you'll stand back and think... Maybe I'm rushing ahead, God. Maybe yes. I'm going too fast with my plans. Yeah. Maybe am I even in your plans? Oh or is it all me? Oh so, my goodness. And so, it happens all the time in ministry, Maurice. I don't know how many times I run ahead of God. Sure. And you know, you just roll on the floor after that. Yeah. Because it's so it's so true. Because if you're a child of God and you are owned by him. He will make sure you are protected or, you know, he will make sure. He'll resist you. Yeah, he will resist think you if he didn't resist for love because, yeah. If he didn't resist you yeah. when you was going ahead of yes. God and he let you go, where would you be now? Where would I be? If God had let me do what I wanted years yes, ago, yes. Oh, it would have been disaster. Yes. I, I think I may have even lost my salvation. I, I think I'd have... You know, gone so far away. Mm. But God resisted me. Thank God he resists the proud. It's a wonderful thing. Not as like smashing it's a you. Change of thinking, Maurice. Yeah. It's radical. This is this is this is a radical way of seeing things God's way. See, and Philippians. Me, yeah. Philippians, yeah. Chapter two. Yeah. Oh yes. It, it's 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 Humble so himself. good. Philippians chapter two. I'll read from verse 1. Mm -hmm. Because Paul asks a question. He's setting us up. Yeah. Like all good teachers do. It, it, it leads you into a trap to expose you. Mm -hmm. So he says, is there any consolation in Christ? We have to say, yes, Paul. Mm -hmm. Have you found any comfort of love? Mm -hmm. Of course we have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Any fellowship of the Spirit? Yeah, any bowels of mercies? So we've accepted. We've found all these things in Christ. Mm -hmm. So he says, right, make my day. Mm -hmm. Fulfill ye my, my joy. joy. Make me happy. Mm -hmm. You be like-minded. If you've received that, you think like that. Mm -hmm. You think consolation. You think comfort of love. Mm -hmm. You think bowels of mercies. If you found that in Christ, you be like-minded. Yeah. You start to think bowels of mercies. Proud people don't think bowels of mercy mm -hmm. because bowels is when you feel the pain, mm -hmm. yeah. when you're grieving, bowels of mercies. Not only, you know, oh, well, I'll be merciful, but feeling the pain of yeah. the person who's going to be condemned in your showing mercy, yeah. compassion, bowels of mercy. You be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. mind. We're the bride of Christ, so we should all think the same. Every wow. Christian should think the same because we should all be of one mind. But whenever we're proud, I'm of Paul, I'm of Apollos, I'm a Baptist, I'm a Pentecostal, I'm Barrett Ministries. Whenever we're thinking that we're proud and carnal, worldly. Holland, so you just said something there. All We as Christians, we should think the same. Yes. One mind, it says. No excuse. So all our divisions, it's just, it just proves that not just we're not united in thinking. We're worldly. We're not united in actions either. 
So the divisions really is more... It's, it's pride. Wow. You know, I don't agree with you. That doctrine's wrong. Therefore, I'll start my own denomination. Because we're supposed to be having the same spirit. When you split a church, it's always pride. The wow. pastor doesn't know what he's doing. Mm. He's, he's gone off the rails. Well, maybe the pastor has. But for you to split the church, you're proud. You think you know better. Mm. A humble person would yeah. never split a church. So it's pride. So and we now know pride is worldliness. So it should really be easy for Christians to agree. Yes. Because we should think the same. Yeah. We may not agree on how we see the, the Bible. Mm -hmm. We may not agree on that. But we should all agree on the character. The God, car we should yes. all be humble, be yes. hungry, thirst after that. And that unites That's a key. That's a key. Because I will accept the wrong. I will accept, you know, I, I'll say, all right, that's fine. You, 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 you go ahead. Yeah. That's it. We should have one another greater than that. Yes. I can't see it, brother, but God bless you. Mm -hmm. You pursue what God's told you, and I'll pursue what God's. We've got the same mind. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Paul says, Thank is, you. The, is Christ divided? Is mm -hmm. the body divided? Mm -hmm. My body's not divided. It's all connected together. I don't understand the different parts, yeah. but it's all working. The same mind works the whole body. Imagine I have two yeah. minds. I'm schizophrenic. They'll lock yes. me up. Can but, any of you accept wrong? Are you taking people to the court? What's going on with you? It's all in the thinking. Oh, God. It's all yes. in the thinking. So, Amen. Amen. So let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. That's pride. Vain, yes. worthless yeah. glory. Pride. But in lowliness of, of mind. mind. That's How many times do you use the word mind? How yeah. many times do you use it? Let each esteem each other greater than themselves. Mm -hmm. Look, not every man on his own things, but mm -hmm. on the things of others. A proud man thinks about himself. It's about me yeah. and my empire and my church and yeah. my family and mm -hmm. my body. Mm -hmm. But a humble person said, nothing's mine. God's given me a wife. Yeah. God's allowed me to have money. They had all things in common. Yeah, it's, in it's not important. I'm a steward of it. I'm yeah. responsible, but it, it's not mine. I'm a steward. And then he says this: Let this mind, there's the mind, mind again. This thinking, so this attitude, this yes. disposition, yes. be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So I've no excuse. I've got to think like Jesus. It's not what would Jesus do. Mm -hmm. We say W W, you know, on the T-shirt. What would Jesus do? It's what would Jesus think. The it's attitude. the mind of Christ, not the actions of Christ. Mm -hmm. If we only do the actions of Christ, mm -hmm. we'll miss it yeah. because we don't know the attitude. Let this mind be in you, which mm -hmm. was also in Christ Jesus. So how did Jesus think? It tells us. Who being in the form of God, mm -hmm. thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but he made himself so, of no reputation. He didn't say he made himself of a bad reputation mm -hmm. or a good one. That's, no a, reputation. that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. You no reputation say, isn't yeah. a bad reputation. No. It's no reputation. In other words, mm -hmm. the praise can't make you proud and the criticism can't make you humble. You, you have no reputation. So there's nothing to puff up mm -hmm. and there's nothing to pull down. Because one opinion counted, only the fathers. It's an opinion. If people say that's the yeah. best sermon I've ever heard, it's their opinion. Yeah. Another man will listen and say that's rubbish. Mm -hmm. So... When they say it's the greatest sermon, I don't get proud. It's their opinion. And when they say it's rubbish, yeah. it's their opinion. I, 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 I've tried to learn, Joseph, to have no reputation. So if I preach and they clap, mm -hmm. it doesn't affect me. I don't smile inside. Mm -hmm. If they all say boo and ask me to sit down, I've had people sit, tell me, one man stood up and said, sit down, that's rubbish. Right. And I had to look to the pastor, what should I do? And, and all the congregation said, carry on. But he, he said it. But I was quite wow. willing to sit down and, and not wow. preach halfway through a sermon. It's of no consequence. Wow. If you have no reputation, what does it matter? He made himself a known yeah. and took upon himself the form of a son and was made in the likeness of man. And being found in fashion as a man. So when Jesus grew up mm -hmm. and found himself as a man, he humbled himself. So he humbled himself to, to be born in a stable. It was yeah. a choice, mm -hmm. not an acceptance. It wasn't, well, you know, I, I could be born in a king's palace, but mm -hmm. God wants me to be born in a stable. It was a choice. Mm -hmm. He decided He decided to have his headquarters in Nazareth, where no good thing comes out of it. And so they could all say, well, mm -hmm. Nazareth, 
how can he be a good prophet? He's come mm -hmm. from the backwards. Where actually, he wasn't Jesus of Nazareth, he was Jesus of Bethlehem. He was born in the royal city of David, yeah. but he allowed he himself, out. he chose to be yeah. known in Nazareth, which was the backwards where everyone despised. Yeah. He humbled himself, became obedient even to the death of the cross. So I've got to have that thinking that yeah. I've got to humble myself mm -hmm. and die, mm -hmm. take up my cross and die. Mm -hmm. That's the thinking of Jesus. Yes. He humbled himself to be willing to die. I've got to humble myself and be willing to deny myself, mm -hmm. take up my cross and follow, and follow Christ, be crucified. Amen. Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. God will the, do it. The life I now live, mm -hmm. it's not my life, it's mm -hmm. Christ's life in me. Because he's the humble person, he's the merciful, yes. he's the big, I'm not, so, I'm the troublemaker, I'm the yeah. proud person. So, so every, yeah, go ahead, sorry. It, it's mm -hmm. died so mm -hmm. he can live through me. So every time we, we see, let this mind be in you, you can, can almost say, let's think like this or let this attitude be in you. Be in you. Yeah. Not the action, the yeah. attitude. Amen. So, proud people, I've got some states, proud people mm -hmm. fear and respect man. A proud person's mm -hmm. always worried that but, you don't respect him. Mm -hmm. He's got to dress in the best clothes mm -hmm. so you'll respect him. He's got to get out of a Rolls Royce so you'll say, well, who's he? Yeah. yeah. He needs the praise of, a proud person always needs the praise of men. Mm -hmm. You know, a good example True. is President Trump. He has yeah. to have that respect. You can yeah. see he's full of pride. You know, I know he says he's a Christian, but no, no. he's very proud. You can yeah. see he's not humble. He says humble things. He gives to the poor. He does the actions. Mm -hmm. But his manner shows that he's proud. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it's in all of us. Mm -hmm. So, proud people fear and respect men. Humble people fear and respect God. That's good. If you fear men, you don't respect God. Yes, yes, amen. So, that. you don't fear men. If you yes. fear God, you don't fear men. So, pride gives a wrong opinion of yourself. Yes. A proud person doesn't know himself because he thinks he's like this, but yeah. he's not. It's proud has elevated him. Pride mm -hmm. always lifts you up to a status that's not you. Mm -hmm. So a proud person doesn't know himself. A yeah. humble person is a person who knows himself. Yes, true assessment. So we've come full cycle. Yes. Humility is a true assessment of yourself. You know yourself. Mm -hmm. Proud people don't know themselves. They say, I'm this, I'm an extrovert, I'm that, I'm that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's never true. When you talk about yourself, it's mm -hmm. never true. <laughs> when you say I'm humble, that's it's a projection. proud statement. It's projection. Well, if I say I'm a humble yeah. person, yeah. I say on Facebook, yeah. a humble servant of God. I yeah. thought that's a proud statement. He's yeah. boasting about his humility. Why would he put it on Facebook? Why would he put a humble servant of God? Yeah. Oh, he's, le he's letting you know he's humble. That's I don't right. think people think. You, you, don't think, you don't think before you and say I love, you know, yeah. Bishop so-and-so, a humble servant of God. <laughs> I think he's boasting about humility. And then they put a PhD and PhDs and da 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 But no, I... Whoever think, puts a proud, no, an unworthy servant. No, no, never. An unworthy servant of God. Yeah. But it's, Paul did, I'm not fit to be called an apostle. Yes. What sort of pride chief, is that? There's yeah, chief there. sinner. Chief sinner. Yeah. So we finished the study, but... If it's painful, mm -hmm. if I've got to be on the floor, if like the worm I've got to be exposed, why does God say I'm a blessed person? Mm -hmm. God is pleased with me. W why? So I've got some help here. Four points. Mm -hmm. I'll quickly go through them. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. yours is the kingdom. It's a promise. It's a promise. Yours is the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So that's that's worth being humble. Mm -hmm. Number two, God said he'd heal our nation. If as a nation, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if mm. my people will humble themselves, That's it's the, the first one. The first one. Before you pray. Mm -hmm. People pray, let's pray for the nation, you know. Yeah. 2 Chronicles 7, 14, let's have intercession. Yeah. But they're, they're, pr they're praying in arrogance. We smash the devil in London yeah. and we smash the devil in They've never in the seen city. themselves. They They've don't never know humbled themselves. Are. No. So, so the, if you don't bit first, they're chronological. Yes. If you don't humble yourself, what's the use of praying? And when you pray, you've got to turn from your wicked ways and <laughs> seek his face. Yeah. They're seeking to get the devil out of America, get the devil out of Africa, get the devil He's out of He's there Africa. already. He's, He's got there. a right to be there. They're not seeking God's face. Mm -mm. They're asking God to shift the devil instead of seeking God. 
So that's number mm-hmm. two, God can heal them. Mm-hmm. Number three, you'll be exalted. Mm-hmm. Let, let's James, read it, Matthew yeah, James, 23. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to read it all, Joseph. Is that no, all right? no, no, of course. Yeah. Then spake Jesus to the multitudes, to mm-hmm. his disciples, saying, The scribes <laughs> of the Pharisees, they were proud, sit in Moses' seat. Yeah. All therefore, whatsoever they bid you, observe mm-hmm. that and do. Do the outward actions, yes. but don't do after God, their works, they for they say and do not the hearts wrong. Yep. Right in sepulchres. Mm-hmm. They bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, mm-hmm. lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Mm-hmm. Pride. Mm-hmm. But all their works they do to be seen of men. men. Pride. Yes. They make broad their phylacteries, they enlarge the borders of the gowns. They love the uttermost seats in the feast, pride, yeah. and the chief seats in the synagogues. Greetings in the marketplace, right. pride, to be called of men, Rabbi. Mm-hmm. Don't be called Rabbi, for what is your master, even Christ, and Teacher. you're all brothers. Mm-hmm. And call no man your father upon earth, for what is your father which is in heaven? Mm-hmm. Neither be called masters, for what is your master, Christ? Mm-hmm. But he that is greatest among you yes. shall be your servant. servant. Mm-hmm. And whosoever shall exalt himself Self. shall be abased. Mm-hmm. And he that shall humble himself, himself. shall be exalted. Choice. So the way up is it's the way down. down. Yeah. So that's the third point. Mm-hmm. And the second point, uh, 1 Peter 5, 6. Mm-hmm. God clothed. gives grace to the humble. humble. We've looked at it already. Yeah. No, that was James 4. But 1 Peter, oh, I like right. it. 1 Peter yeah. 5. Yeah, it says be close. I like that. Humble yourselves, therefore, Mm -hmm. under the mighty hand of God, Mm -hmm. that he may exalt you Mm -hmm. in due time. Yes. I'd like to read the verse before. Mm -hmm. Likewise, ye younger, be subject to the elders. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. That's the order. Mm -hmm. But he says, Mm -hmm. yes, every one of you be subject one to To another. another. And be clothed yes. with humility. That's yeah. a wonderful phrase. In yeah. other words, put it on. Yeah, don't take it off. Don't let them see your pride because yes. underneath that humility is a proud heart. So clothe yeah. yourself, wrap it round you yes. so they can't see you. Mm. Put it on. So clothe be clothed yourself. with Christ. Clothe with Christ with yes. humility yes. so that when they see, they see Christ, they don't see you because mm. you're no good. So clothe yourself with humility. Yeah. And... God resisted the proud, yes. but giveth grace to the humble. Mm-hmm. So, I hope we've helped the people. They're very consistent. To, More, it's very to consistent. To understand what humility is, and it's not an action, it's an attitude. Yeah. And you're a blessed person in God's eyes. Mm-hmm. In other words, God says, I'm pleased with you when you're humble. You're in the right place. Yeah. You're so a blessed in, person. So, poor in spirit, like I remember Isaiah 61, Jesus says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So that poverty of spirit is what he's talking about in, in Matthew 5 here. Yes. The entrance. So being poor in spirit is being humble. Yes. Is the true assessment being of yourself and be vulnerable. Yeah. So no matter what people see you, is how you know God sees you. It's God's view. The God's view. Of God's view. That's it. You're a blessed person in God's eyes. Yes. You're not a blessed person in your yes. eyes when you're on the floor. Yeah. I'm a sinful man. Yes. You don't feel blessed. Amen. But God says, wow, he's a blessed man. Yes. He sees himself. Yes. That's a and I see him. <laughs> and I see he's a blessed man because yes. he knows himself. Amen. Amen. Guys, it's been wonderful, really. Thank you for your patience. We know it's a little bit long, but we're trying to make means meet out of it so that you can really benefit from it by the grace of God. And I pray for the Holy Spirit to open your understanding that you might understand the things that are being said because we don't want to give our opinion. We want to give God's word and really make make it understandable as much as possible. But thank you very much for your support. Please, if you missed the previous studies, it's really important that you continue, you, you go back a little bit. You know, we have the mind, we have Peter. It's, it's really, really good. So Maurice, you want to just close in prayer for us, please? Yeah. yeah. All the studies are on uh, YouTube channel or yes. the website www.barrettministries.org.uk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Father, what a privilege to talk about yes. the character of God. What better subject than mm-hmm. to talk about the very essence of God himself, humility and these other qualities. Mm-hmm. Father, please... Plant it into our hearts Mm. and the people who are listening what true humility is. Mm. 
Not the dictionary definition, but how the Bible explains it. Being vulnerable mm. and knowing yourself. I just pray, Father, that you'll open people's spiritual eyes and spiritual ears and open their hearts to perceive and understand what humility is. It's a condition of the heart, not yes. an action. Yes. Help us, Father. We ask it in your name. Amen. Amen. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. See you next week. Yeah. Blessed are they that mourn. They'll be comforted. Amen.